Today, I am going to be presenting on the artist Ben Copperwheat. Ben is 45 years old. He was born in 1975, and he is from Lutton, United Kingdom. Ben graduated with a BA in Creative Arts from Bath Spa University in 1999, and in 2001, he earned his Master of Arts from the Royal College of Art. The type of work he does is he makes fine art, wearable art, interior concepts, and he has created printed textiles for some of the world's leading brands. He is also known for using bright neon rainbow colors and uses motifs and icons to help create these very unique pieces. For his career, in 2002, he debuted his paintings at Studio Voltaire in London. In 2003, he moved to New York where he got into fashion and textile design. In 2009, he established an avant-garde menswear line called Copperwheat, which he designed with his cousin Lee Copperwheat. He has also created five collections that have been shown during New York Fashion Week. He also has provided design direction and created print collections to renowned brands such as Gucci, Calvin Klein, Peter Somm, Victorinox Swiss Army, DKNY, Tommy Hilfiger, and many others. In 2015, he participated in the Interface Group Exhibition at the Leslie Lohman Museum. And in 2015 and 2016, he participated in the Powered Group Show. In 2016, he joined the art slash fashion group of artists at the cutting edge of wearable art, which was founded by the New York City stylist Patricia Field. And this opened a lot of doors for him in his career. It led to runway shows in the Berlin Fashion Week of September 2016. And it got him into the Art Basel Miami show in 2016 and 2017. He commissioned a mural for a luxury department store in Florence, Italy called Luisa Via Roma for January 2017. He also showcased his art at the Shimansky Club in Williamsburg, Brooklyn from March to May of 2017. And in the summer of 2017, he had an art fashion exhibition and runway show in Mykonos, Greece that he was a participant in. And also in 2017, for the New York City Pride celebrations, he was commissioned by Jane Friedman of the Howell Happening Gallery to design and print a float for the Gerald J. Friedman Transgender Health and Wellness Center. September 2017, he showed his wearable art collection as part of London Fashion Week at the London Queer Fashion Show, which is a celebration of leading queer designers. Also in October 2017, he showed his collection in collab with Janice Aviles and Rachel Singer of Sparkle Princess at Art Porter. And it was a collection, presentation, runway, and art exhibition at the Tampa Museum of Art in Tampa, Florida. And in February 2018, he exhibited in the group show Inspire, where he paid homage to Lee Bowery, a performance artist, nightlife legend. In March 2018, he exhibited in the group show Ideas Get Dressed at Sapar Contemporary in Tribeca, New York. Also in 2018, he relocated to Savannah, Georgia and was appointed professors of fibers at the Savannah College of Art and Design. Aside from his fashion design career, he also 
has taught at four British and American universities since 2001. He's taught at, taught at Northumbria University in Newcastle, Royal College of Art, San Francisco Academy of Art, and New York University, NYU. He also is commissioned by personalities and organizations such as Beyonce's daughter, Blue Ivy, Boy George, Liza Minnelli, Pat Cleveland, Isabella Blow, Rod Thomas, David Collins Studio. And that is Ben Copper Wheat in a nutshell. He is his pieces are very unique and that's what really drew me to study this artist um what intrigued me the most about him was his bold how bold his designs are i love the bright neon colors and designs that are very unique and when i look at them it feels like they're all one of a kind even though they are part of like a fashion line i they just look very unique and the way he paints the icons, such as the Queen or Barack Obama, in very non-traditional ways is almost comical, but then it's also just really fun and cool at the same time. And it really catches your eye because you're seeing these like iconic power figures who are political figures and you're seeing them in a different way than we usually see them and it's very interesting also what i love about his work is that he does like more than one type of medium he doesn't just paint and he doesn't just design he does both and he paints so that his designs are where or he paints and then designs so that his artwork is wearable which i think is cool So yeah, he paints and designs so that his artwork is wearable, which is cool, makes it more versatile, and it's also inspiring for me personally to like see his designs, and it makes me kind of want to get out of my comfort zone and wear brighter, more fun pieces of clothing, even if like others in my day-to-day -day life are not, because he's a fashion designer and his pieces are bright and fun and if that's fashion then why not wear it another thing that i really love about ben copperweed's pieces and artwork is the different shapes that he uses i think that they add really great dimension to his paintings as well as his clothing and also just adds to the uniqueness factor of his pieces and also his clothing or his artwork just kind of speaks out like positivity because it's so bright and fun and kind of wacky but also he uses shapes like hearts and fig like figures who have a positive impact on people such as Beyonce or the Queen and Barack Obama and he just his artwork just speaks like happiness to me and i really like that so that is my presentation on ben copperweed he was super fun to study and i hope you all learned a lot his artwork is super cool and his fashion is very out there and inspiring and fun so it was actually really Cool to see all of his pieces and share it with all of you and I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you!